In another narration, Abu related that the Messenger of Allah said, Do you know who the bankrupt one is? The companion said, He who has neither dirham nor dinar. He said, Rather the bankrupt one is he from my nation who comes on the day of resurrection with prayer, fasting and zakat, compulsory charity. Yet he comes having cursed this one, wrongfully taken from the wealth of this one, shed the blood of this one, and hit this one. Then this one will take settlement from his good deeds, and this one will take from his good deeds, and if this, and if his good deeds are finished before he pays what is upon him to pay, their bad deeds are taken and thrown upon him. Then he is thrown into the hellfire. Ibn Umar related that the Messenger of Allah said, Do not die while upon you is a debt for there on the day of resurrection. There is neither dinar nor dirham. Rather, there are only good deeds, a reward. There are only good deeds, a reward returned for a reward. And your Lord does not do wrong to anyone. Retribution exacted from the wrongdoers on the day of resurrection. Jabir related that the Messenger of Allah said, Indeed, I. Indeed, a slave will come on the day of resurrection, and his good deeds will please him. Then a man will come and say, O oh my Lord, this one wronged me. Then some of his good deeds are taken and placed among the good deeds of the one asked him. Of the one who asked him, this will continue in the same manner until no good deed remains for him. Then, when someone comes to ask him his bad deeds, the bad deeds of the one who is asking are looked at and then are placed with the bad deeds of that man, the man who wronged him. His accounts will continue to be settled in the said manner until the until he enters the hellfire. Ashur Billah associating partners with Allah is not forgiven and wrong done among the slaves of Allah will most certainly be settled and paid back on the day of resurrection. Aisha related that the Messenger of Allah said the records records with Allah are, are three a record that Allah does not mind at all, a record from which Allah will leave nothing out, and a record that Allah will not forgive. As for the record that Allah will not forgive, then that is shirk, associating partners with Allah. Allah said, Verily, whosoever sets up partners in worship with Allah, then Allah has forbidden paradise for him. And as for the record that Allah does not mind at all, it is the wrongs the slave does to his own self, which are between him and his Lord. In terms of a fast he left off, or a prayer he left off, for Allah will indeed forgive that and pardon him. Inshallah, if Allah wills as for the record from which Allah will leave nothing out, it is the wrongs that the slaves do to one Another, al case repayment of the wrongdoer is al kisas pay, re, repayment of the wrongdoer is li in likeness to the wrong he did, with the utmost certainty that it will occur. Anas related that the following hadith, which he ascribed to the Prophet, there are three transgressions. The transgression that Allah does not forgive, and it is shirk associating partners with Al with Allah in worship. The transgression that Allah forgives, and that is the wrong, and that is the wrong the slaves perpetrate between themselves and between their Lord, and the transgression regarding which Allah leaves nothing out, and that is the transgression that the slaves perpetrate against one another until some of them are paid back from paid back from others. Related that this related this narration though through 
two different chains, both of which are weak, 